What's up, YouTube? Checking out a new game, Breach Wanderers. This is a roguelike deck builder, so... And I haven't checked it out at all yet, but we'll see what it's like. Do a first look, maybe start a longer Let's Play series. Welcome to Breach Wanderers. This is a short tutorial to show you the basics of map navigation. Your goal is to reach and defeat the... How do I say this? Aether? Aether. Aether. We're going with Aether Guardian all the way to the top of the map. Try scrolling up and down to see the available paths. You can also click and drag the map. So it's like a little bit more zoomed in version of Slay the Spire with way more stuff. More information on the nodes. Like I can tell what kind of battles these are going to be. Assuming these are battles. We got question marks. We got green things, which I'm guessing are just hallway fights. Maybe these are elites, super elites. And boss battle is a raspberry with a sword. Nice. I'm digging it. The graphics look really good so far. Remember to rest if your health is getting low. To get started, pick a node directly above the portal at the bottom of the map. Good luck. Cool. So, since I have no idea what I'm doing, let's just go off of what looks cool. This guy looks pretty cool. He's got a skull next to him. I kind of want to lose my first run. And then this purple guy. And then another skull. I could go skull, skull, skull. Yeah, let's do that. Welcome to your first combat. We will now take you through the basics of the combat system. All right. Ah, this is where you will see your current character health, shields, and status effects. When you receive status effects, you can click your character to read more. Cool. So I start with a 10 out of 10 shield. Does this, at the start of your turn, goes back to... If your shield is higher than max value, it will reduce to max value. So it goes back to 10. Cool. This is your mana. Why am I only at 9 out of 10? Excess mana remains between rounds. So automatic ice cream from Slay the Spire. This is your hand. You can play these cards this turn. You draw cards from your deck on the left. Play cards. Okay. Go to discard on the right. When your deck is empty, discard shuffles back. Click and drag to play. Detailed pop-up. Okay. All right. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm looking at. He's doing eight damage. I got 10 shield. He's defending. How do I see their HP up top? 25, 25. Eight damage. If it's frozen, 10 damage to any enemy. Apply frost. Ooh. Okay. Since... Can it overfill? I'm guessing it can. So this doesn't cost anything. Where do I see the cost? Okay, this costs six. I'd like to use Pierce as well. So let's hit this shield guy. Hit him. So how do I see how much frost is on him? Frozen. Skip your next turn. Interesting that they have energy and... Or they have a shield or something. And theirs is more than full. Hmm. Gain two mana. Gain... Is this just worth playing? Yes, it is. Because it just gives mana. Eight damage. So 16 damage. That should just kill that. Cool. And the turn. All right, so he has 15 HP. I don't know what this one out of 10 is, but he's not attacking anyways. Gain wits, buff, draw one extra card every turn. So this is, I was gonna say like a power, but it specifically says skill. Don't have enough mana, right. I should actually look at the cost. 10 out of 11, this is how much frost they have. Once it gets to 10, they're frozen, I think. Frozen rank cannot be increased. 
I understand now. Okay, so I'm only carrying over two energy in the turn. He's no longer frozen. Now he is. I kind of want to get my mana above 10, which I can't do, just to see if it goes to 11 or whatever. All right. Plus 25 energy. Gain energy after every fight and some events. Whenever you reach 100 energy, you gain a random item. Cool. So yeah, so there's long-term unlock progress in this game, it seems like, from the little bit I had read. Apply 6 arcane to any enemy. Gain 6 shield. I get to choose a card. Mana boost 2. Every turn, gain 2 extra mana. And wits one. That's pretty nice. It doesn't cost anything to play this. I don't know if this 10 shield, I think that's just for one turn. And this costs three mana. Just curious, this says monster card, cursed shield. Applying Arcane will fill the enemy target's Arcane Bar. When it's filled, the target will take da 10 damage and reduce rank of their buffs by 1. Frozen, frozen and Shocked increase the damage by 5 each. That is interesting. I think for now I just take this one. It's nice and easy to wrap my head around. Loot the backpack. You found someone's backpack and sleeping mat here. It's long abandoned. Who knows what creature drove them to flee and leave everything behind. They left an old journal behind with notes about avoiding bad encounters in the Aether. You can inspire yourself from it. I can remove a card. Can I do one or the other, I'm guessing? How do I look at my deck? Right now, this block seems kind of crappy. Two frost isn't super helpful. Maybe it is. Like, I want ten flop frost. <laughs> um. Yeah, so I like that one. Goodbye, shield. All right, let's go. Three enemies. One of them's attacking. What is this doing? Next action applies arcane. So I don't want to get hit with 10 arcane because that does damage to me and reduces my buffs. Not that I have buffs. 25 HP. 10 frost auto skips what he's doing. Cool. Mana shield's just free. Ooh, I could also freeze this one. Now I can't play a pierce. These two are defending. So I see no reason not to do those. I should have paid attention to what my mana was to see... Was it just at six? Well, I'll find out right now. Okay, I can go above 10. I'm just guessing next round, if I ended turn right now, it would go down to 10. 10 damage to any enemy. Let's just work on that one. So now I'm gonna have five arcane. Two of them are attacking. I have seven shield. Why do I only have 7 shield? So he's got 5 shield, 3 HP. Pierce, where's... I don't have Pierce. Pierce would do 8 damage. And I'm at 11 out of 10. Why is that? I would get it if I had this going. Hmm. Okay. Okay.
13. Oh, maybe I just had a lot of mana last turn. I can apply frost to somebody. Let's put it on this one that's putting a shield on. Let's kill that. Oh, I don't have enough. Okay. I thought my shield was going to come back. <laughs> I'm misunderstanding the shield mechanic. That's okay. Next action, nothing. That is strange. Because he's frozen death spores. Apply one powerful per rank to every... So... When these die, they apply death spores. Isn't reduced at the end of the town. Turn. <laughs> okay. So I need to kill these quickly now. Death spores only went to this one, but I'm guessing once I kill him, the death spores will all go to this one, maybe? I don't know. This one's already frozen. I don't want to get hit with... Okay, my arcane's dropping. Still, I don't want to get hit with that. This does a ton of damage. Just kill that one. Okay, he got powerful. I don't fully understand yet. Victory! Okay, we get to choose a card. Darn, another arcane card. Gain three mana, gain two more mana if an enemy is frozen. Hmm. Three mana on its own is decent. Gain overcharge one, debuff. Apply two shock to yourself whenever you draw a card. Draw two. Applying shock will fill the target's shock bar. When filled, the target will be shocked and take double damage from the next attack. This seems pretty bad. I'm gonna have too much mana. <laughs> Let's do it. I just want all the mana. Plus 29 energy. Why did I think I could get this and this? Who knows? We're going the left path. I still get three of these skull guys. Let's do it. All right. Multi-attack. One times four. I'd rather he didn't do that. This one has way more HP, but let's just kill this. Can't afford that even once I put on the mana shield. Cool. Seven times two. Evasion buff. Prevent the next source of damage from an attack. Evasion isn't reduced at the end of the turn. So he's just going to evade my first attack every time. Evade 100% chance. That kind of sucks. Um. He doesn't get to evade that. Even though you're frozen. Oh, he's not frozen. It takes 12. He's special. So, it doesn't make a difference which of these I use. Since it's not going to hit, because he's going to evade, and even if he wasn't going to evade, he has 8 armor, so it wouldn't do much damage. I think I just save my mana. Take my damage. He becomes more powerful. 
which is not reduced at the end of the turn. Okay, I'd like to freeze him right now. So much mana. I don't need to apply more frost, but there's no reason not to. <laughs> These aren't super helpful, but wow, I have a lot of mana. It was a waste to use a little bit of it, but I think at this point my mana is just through the chart or off the charts. It takes 19 to freeze him now, but his dodge went away for whatever reason. Okay. Apply 10 frost. I would like to do that. Okay, so he's frozen. Now it goes up to 22. Can I freeze him again? No, it can't be increased. Like, if I got to 22... No, I'm just already at 22 out of 19. Okay, I have 7 left. Oh, I definitely want to pierce. This frost won't do anything, but... Ah... Uh... Oh, I can't afford it anyways. It would have been worth playing the cheaper one anyway, just so that I had that one extra mana, which doesn't do much for me. Okay, I don't have to do much. Just kill him. I have five mana. He's not frozen. Can I freeze him? No, it takes 26 to freeze. Cool. I should have just killed it earlier. Still thinking through the cards. Almost got to 100 there. I can upgrade one. Gain two mana. Gain one evasion. Evasion's pretty cool. Except for... Next time you would take next source of damage from an attack. I don't know how that works for multi-attacks. Give two weak to any enemy. Apply frost to it. Equal to 25% of your maximum mana. Decrease damage dealt and status. Arcane Frost Shock applied by 30%. That only costs one. Two weeks sounds good, but this evasion... Evasion isn't reduced at the end of the turn. I think is pretty interesting. I need a way to spend... I feel like I'm going to have a lot of mana. Eventually. How can I see what the upgrade looks like? So, the main thing I would like to upgrade is kind of these pierces, but maybe not. What does this look like? 12. It goes from potentially 16 to 24. Okay, if this was too evasion, then... Or wit. And the cost goes down. That's kind of nice. 20 damage for one more cost. This might actually be it. Okay, that's it. It's very basic, but it's really easy to use to its maximum potential. Okay, so shock. I'll take double damage if I get hit with that shock. How much does it take to freeze him? Fifteen. Okay. He's only doing ten damage, but the frost hurts a bit. The only nice thing about not having... Okay, so some of the freeze wears off every turn, but not all of it. Not having frozen him is his threshold to freeze doesn't increase. He's not attacking, but he is shocking. Support. Okay. If I could freeze so that he doesn't do that support, that's worth doing. Okay, so that should stay on there. So 
So I have a lot of card draw now, four. Not doing much damage, not getting much frost on him. I saw my wits tick down. I think the mana boost did as well. Is that... Huh. Does it just tick down at the end of the turn? It seems like all of these tick down at the end of the turn unless they say otherwise. Okay. 10 Frost. My upgraded card. We're almost there. Pierce. Okay, Ice Blast will apply Frost. Got some damage that turn. And he didn't get to do anything. 13 and 7 for the shock. Um, I only need... Hmm. Don't see a way to freeze him right off the bat. Draw lots of cards. Draw even more cards. I wonder what the maximum cards you can have are. Take some dam. Why didn't I take damage? Especially because... I don't know. Okay. He's healing. That's not great. And support. But I only need 15 to freeze. What do we got that freezes? This? Mm, more of it. Oh, I had evasion up. That's why. I really need more stuff that applies frost. I think the 16 damage is still worth doing for six energy cost but maybe it was worth saving up adapt buff increase status arcane frost shock by 30 percent increase damage done by cards by 30 percent at least i've got evasion up he's gonna disrupt me twice the so two debuffs oh except i'm freezing him beautiful So I don't even need to use this chill. I could use it, but... Now that he's frozen, I get 15. Do that damage. So the reason to use it is that I think he'll have more frost next turn. So 41, does that just drop to 16? It does. Now he's attacking. Can I do 19 frost? Doesn't seem like it. But I have dodge up. I'm just going to get shocked again. <laughs> He's almost dead. Okay, so now I'm double shocked. I could see shock damage going up really quick and causing problems. How much do I need? A little bit. Okay, we got it, but... Plus, I can just kill him right now using this. Okay, let's just do that. Alright, so, equip item. First, let's just choose a card. One thing at a time. Gold cards. I assume that's a rare. 18 damage to the first enemy. Give all enemies frostbite too. Every turn gain 3 frost and take 3 damage. 
Frostbite 2 and apply 6 Frost to them. That's pretty nice. It's really expensive, but I have extra mana. Gain mana equal to 25% of your maximum mana. Frenzied Flux. Gain 2 critical. Critical 2. Deal 12 damage to an enemy and apply 12 shock to it. Shuffle 2 shock spasms in your deck. Apply 3 shock to yourself. But this gets removed afterwards. This seems okay, but complicated. This just seems good. Strike damage plus one. I don't even have strikes, right? I don't know. I don't think I do. I could discard it for plus 20 energy. I like this evade chance, I think. Equip it, even though I don't think it applies to me too much. What does this upgrade do? Frostbite 3, 8 frost, 24 damage. It's expensive, but if we're going to be spending 8 energy, we want it to be on a big card. So now, which cards did I not like? I like these ones that apply frost. They're expensive, but I have extra mana. Kind of. Gain Wits 3. I mean, it is nice. Hmm. I feel like of all of these, Chill might be the weakest, but I need Frost. <laughs> Goodbye, Mana Shield. Who knows? I'm at 96 HP. We're doing all right. Um, he's attacking with six. He's also putting some frost on me. Disrupting me. Disrupting me is concerning. 35, 25, 35. Probably 10 frost to freeze these. I don't like that I can't tell. Okay, I can when I hover them. Could freeze two of these. Should probably do that. No, I can't. I don't have that much mana. I get more mana. So I can either do 16 damage to this one. Or I can freeze this one. I think I just do that. Wish I could play this because there's two frozen ones. Ooh. This is nice. Almost kills, too. Okay. This one's frozen. I don't want this to disrupt. But I can almost just straight up kill this thing. They're gonna gain the frost soon enough anyways. I don't love whatever this debuff is. Two leech. Debuff. Every turn, take three damage, and the owner heals three health. Okay. What happens when the owner dies? Because he's about to die. Okay. You're doing 12 damage. He has 12 effective HP. It sucks that I'm not getting to freeze one.
There's not much point hitting him if he's got that shield. This stupid leech is gonna heal him too. Okay. Arcane does 10 damage if he hits me with another 5. He's not. This guy's already frozen. Blizzard. Blizzard does big damage. He is currently frozen. First enemy. both frozen. This one costs less, so let's just use that. I should have taken out the one with more HP, and that has this stupid leech on me. The leech applies to my shield. Oh, I was not expecting that for some reason. So I've got evasion, so he couldn't hit me. Cool. Victory! Alright, what are you going to offer us? I kind of like chilling focus, but it's kind of crappy. Gain frost barrier. Apply five frost to the first two enemies. Buff. Apply two frost when attacked. Reduce all status... Received from attacks by two. Okay. Is that for me? I reduce all status received from attacks by two? Hmm. I do like that this is pretty cheap. And it goes with my frost synergies. Going to... Ah... Huh. Okay, burn doesn't require anything to synergize with it. Just at the end of the turn, they would take an extra 10 damage. And then the next turn, they would take 5 damage, and if I stacked enough fire... I don't know what monster card means. Huh. I think I'm going frost. Loot the cash! Defend yourself, we gotta fight. All three attacking. Next ash action, lifesteal. Okay. So. Hmm. I can freeze one of these. I don't know if he can overheal. I'm guessing no. Ambushed. 50% chance of receiving critical damage. Is critical just double or is it plus 50%? My mouse is like stuck going diagonal. Very strange. What is going on? Okay. Icy Barrier, Ice Blast. Ah, if I could get two Ice Blasts off, I could freeze two of these. I think I take care of the one doing the most damage. I want to see if his life steal does anything when health is full. It appears no. Frost barrier goes on me. And it applies frost on the enemy. Okay, now it makes more sense. I don't know how much I care about three arcane. I don't think I do. Giving buffs is scary, though. Giving buffs, giving debuffs. Okay. My mouse is bugging 
me like crazy right now. And it's a corded mouse, so it's not like the battery's running out. It only moves in this direction. I don't... Okay. It's like I have to fight it to get off of going diagonal. Okay, we have nine. This one's already frozen. I think I just kill this middle one. Draw more cards next turn. I can't reach the end turn, but... Oh! There's a stupid thing stuck in the sensor. Okay, we're back. My mouse is working. Staring at it, trying to figure it out. Alright, debuff shield. Mana dance. Gain some... Cool, now I can blizzard. One of them is frozen. So I gain more mana. Just kill that one. This one's not frozen. This one was frozen. It would have done double damage to this one. I was thinking they were both frozen. And I got leech applied to me. So now is a good time to find out if that leech actually works. Okay, so I do like that frost barrier thing, I think. This one's frozen, but I don't want the leech, even if it's just going to hit my shield. I just don't want it. The other hand. Right. Okay. So now, the leech still hit. I just don't think it went to heal anyone. And I still don't get death spores all the way. Victory! Cursed spores give two poison to all enemies. Increase this value by three. Debuff, take one damage per rank at the end of the turn. Then reduce ranks to half rounded down. Wow, so their poison wears off really quick. But it also is AoE and increases this value by three. So this just becomes stronger and stronger the more you use it. And it's AoE. Deal six damage to any enemy, increase this value by three. Another one that's interesting. Icy Concentration's working for me. I kind of like AoE that gets stronger and stronger the longer the fight goes. Burn Tick Damage plus three. Now I kind of wish that I had Max Shield plus two. This plus 20 energy doesn't seem great to me, but maybe it is. But so far, I've taken two things that don't fully apply to me. All right, he's doing a debuff. He's doing some frost. How much does it take? It only takes 12 to freeze him. I think it's worth playing this just to get the frost bite going. Hmm. But cursed spores. I don't think this fight's gonna go on long enough. Maybe it will. That curse spores will come around that many times. So what is that? Just mana boost. Cool. We both have... No, he has a frost barrier. Okay. Got it. So when I hit him, I'll take two frost, so I cannot hit him more than twice. would like to freeze him, though. So he doesn't get any frost from this, but it gives me mana. Now 
I could do Pierce for the double damage. I froze myself because it hits twice. I was wondering how that works with Frost Barrier. Or I just wasn't paying attention. One of the two. I wanted to do the thing that gave me five mana. I should have done that first. There was no reason not to. Okay, I'm evading his attack, so it doesn't matter what he's doing now. He's not frozen. This is worth it just because he's down to 16 HP. Cool. Baited the attack. This freeze will freeze me, but 13 damage. Yeah, this receive two less status, that does become significant. Because I would have already frozen him right now. Oh, there we go. Except now I'm, like, out of mana. But he's frozen. Okay, I'm not out of mana. He's dead. Alright. Lucky charm times one. I like Frostbite. I like Frost. So far I like this card. Gain six shield. Reduce the rank of your debuffs by one. Hmm, it's kind of nice. Mana boost 2 gives a good amount of mana, and I get to draw an extra card. Reroll, and it shows a horseshoe. Reroll an item or card. I'll use that on an item, is the plan. Okay, Raspberry, here we go. Raspberry Bramble? Something like that. Reflect. Buff. <laughs> Deal one damage per rank when attacked. Permanent effects. Okay. That should go to my shield, I'm guessing. Summon. 110 HP. Only takes 15 to freeze him. I do like this icy barrier. Hmm. Okay. Did I just hurt myself? No. It went to my shield. I was already at 92. Alright, so now to freeze him. 25. I like this card a lot. If he's frozen, I get more mana. Not gonna get frozen. He's doing 15 damage. I can do 10 plus another 10 frost. Not enough. So at least he has a lot of frostbite. I have mana boost for one more turn. Is it worth chilling him? Or is it worth doing 10 extra damage? Or do I just save my mana? I'm gonna say we just play the chill. Freeze him next turn. Took a little bit of damage. He gained two frost, but the frostbite's ticking down a bit. Cursed spores would be kind of nice. Did he heal? <laughs> I feel like he healed. I do like Frostbite. I want to get that down as well. Oh, right. He had... No. It's only two for the first time. Okay.
57 HP. I'm going to pay attention to that more. Okay, all he's doing is buffing. Assuming I can't get to 25. Hmm. I only have 11 mana is enough to give lots of frostbite. We're up to 10 frostbite. That's beautiful. Only problem is I don't have much mana coming this turn. But I have an evade up. He's doing 18 damage and debuffing me. Only 24 HP. I only need to do 9 frost with 4 energy. With 6 energy. 8 energy, 2 evasion. Now we're talking. Alright. Say it's worth freezing him. Doing 16. Easy fight. Not much mana. A little bit. I can kill him with this. Do I really... Okay, I was going to say, do I not have any damage cards? Victory! Alright, we unlocked depth 2. Your maximum pool size has increased. Venturing in further depth increases the amount of areas to explore. You will face stronger foes and earn better rewards. Okay, so I had a couple pieces of equipment. I didn't get an accessory or a chest piece or whatever, or whatever these two things are. Default deck has my Blizzard Plus, has a Magic Blast Plus. Interesting. All right, so I unlocked new cards. Freeze Flash. Frostbite does frost. Okay. Oh, if it's frozen, give... I like that it says then, so it does the frost first, then if it's frozen. Cool. More frostbite. To every enemy with frostbite. I'm liking frostbite. I gotta level up. I don't know what that means. Okay, cool. So we're back to the town. That was like a 47 minute run, but... Awesome. I got a pack to open. Maybe I'll do that at the start of next video, or at least it's glowing like I do. There's a forge. The forge allows you to purchase permanent upgrades for your heroes. We'll check that out next video too. The market allows you to purchase items before a run to give a better chance of success. Quest board provides you with a constant stream of quests to complete for Aether. Aether lets you open card packs. Collection. And I can unlock new cards by opening packs with Aether. So that's what this stuff is. 13, 14. You have enough to open two packs now. You should try it. Okay, if it's going to have us do it. All right. Opening packs. We've got 57 out of 234. Demonic power. Gain powerful two. Lose six health and six shield. Ouch. Okay. Increases damage done and status applied by one per rank. Powerful isn't reduced at the end of the turn. So for long fights, okay, it just hurts you. Six health and shield. Remove 10 shields from any enemy if they had no shield. Instead, give them vulnerable two. Cool. Lose one wits if you do not, or if you do, gain 12 shield and sturdy three. Increase your max shield by one per rank. Okay. So for a big block type thing, that seems all right out of all those. Let's open another. What do we got? Mana Surge. Draw two mana. What? <laughs> I get draw two cards. I don't know what draw two mana means all the way. Okay, lose two mighty. If you do, gain powerful. That, if I had mighty, sounds good. Poison spray. I'm liking poison. Poison four to all enemies with no shield. Deal six damage to the first two enemies. So this card doesn't get stronger like that other one do did. And six is kind of expensive. Right off the bat, I don't love any of these. Maybe draw two mana. I just 
don't understand it. Is it just draw two cards? All right, we're going to look at the other stuff next time, but I'm liking this game. I plan on playing a good amount of it, I think, until, I don't know, until I get tired of it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Yeah, give me feedback, especially if you liked the video, if you didn't like it. It's early access. They're still working on the game. Yeah, hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.